what would you do? In today's lesson, I'd like to explore how environmental changes can affect plants and animals. First, picture your school. What things in your school help you survive? Hopefully, you set it air to breathe, water to drink, food to eat, and shelter to protect you. These things are called basic needs. What other factors or things help you feel comfortable at school? Did you say tables, chairs, friends, light, and maybe even the temperature in the building? Being cold and sitting on the floor by yourself can make it hard to think and learn. Pretend that you come to school tomorrow and it's empty and cold. What would you do? Think about geese. What do they do when it gets cold and they can't find enough food? That's right, they fly south. Why? Geese fly south for warmer temperatures and to find food. This movement or travel is called migration. Take a look at this birdhouse I have in the backyard. It's called a purple martin house. Each year, purple martins come in February, lay their eggs and raise their young. By June, they're gone again. Where do you think they go? Purple martins are migratory birds. That means they migrate or move from one area to another based on the weather. Since we have mild springs, it's a great place for purple martins to raise their young. But what does migration mean? Let's take a look at these key words to understand this word better. Move and travel. Animals migrate to find food, water, warmer and or cooler temperatures, or to reproduce. You might also see the word migrate. Think about how you feel when the days get shorter and it gets dark earlier. Do you feel tired earlier? Do you feel sluggish? Do you go to bed sooner? Think about how you feel during the winter when it is cold, gray, and raining. Do you ever find yourself curled up on the couch under a blanket or two to stay warm? Why do you go to bed earlier? Why do you pile blankets on top of you? Your body is reacting to your environment. How do trees save energy when it gets cold and the amount of daylight decreases? Well, some of them lose or drop their leaves. Some trees appear to be dead during winter because they are bare. Plants that are alive but not actively growing are in a period of dormancy. Even plants are affected by the weather. This peach tree starts out looking like sticks. As you can see, leaves begin to sprout and eventually the entire tree will fill up. It uses clues of the weather getting warmer to get out of dormancy and become active again. Can you see that flower? That's where a new peach will grow. Well, what does dormancy mean? Take a look at those keywords inactive, conserve energy. Dormancy occurs when a plant stops growing or becomes inactive. Plants conserve energy by waiting to sprout until spring brings warmer temperatures and longer days. You might also see the word dormant. What if you were in an extremely cold, snow-covered area? What if food and water were hard to find and you couldn't get away? What would you do? Some animals that live in environments that are extremely cold and snow covered burrow underground for shelter. Take a look at this picture and you'll notice lots of animals making use of the ground to burrow. They will eat lots of food during the summer to fatten up. Eating more food helps them not to be hungry when there isn't as much food in winter. 
Animals will try to survive the cold temperatures as they wait for warmer temperatures. Some animals will even store food. Other animals will simply go into a deep sleep or become inactive to conserve energy. Whiskers loves to sleep on my bed, but she just takes cat naps. Did you know some animals can sleep all winter long? We call this hibernation. Animals such as bears, turtles, and even groundhogs do this. Can you imagine sleeping through an entire season? That's crazy! The Arctic ground squirrel does some of these things, plus it has the ability to greatly lower its body temperature. It can live with a greatly lowered body temperature in a deep sleep through the fall and winter to save its energy. This deep sleep is called hibernation. Here are those key words again. Hibernation includes inactive and cold. Hibernation occurs when an animal goes into a sleep so deep you might think the animal is dead. The neat thing is that the animal is able to raise its body temperature back to normal when it is time to wake up. Only a few animals go through true hibernation. You might also see the word hibernate. What do some plants and animals do when factors in their environment change? Well, they can either migrate, go dormant, or hibernate. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and thinking about what would you do? See you next time.